Hi there! For the Final Jam Pro update of 2024, we've got administrator favorites, restrictions galore. Let's close out the year with a brief overview delve into the exciting new features available in Jamf Pro 11.12. When Apple Intelligence launched earlier this year, many administrators expressed interest in evaluating these new features before enabling them for devices in their environment. With the release of macOS Sequoia 15.1, iOS 18.1, and iPadOS 18.1, Apple Intelligence could be used to create an approximate summary of emails received within the Mail app. In Jamf Pro 11.12, administrators who wish to restrict mail summarization can do so with a computer or a mobile device configuration profile containing the restrictions payload. For computers, this feature can be restricted within the Functionality tab by deselecting the checkbox for Allow Apple Intelligence Mail Summaries. For mobile devices, the same feature can be restricted within the Functionality tab of the Restrictions payload by selecting Restrict for Apple Intelligence Mail Summaries. Additional Apple Intelligence features are slated for release in macOS 15.2, iOS 18.2, and iPadOS 18.2. Enrolled devices using Apple Intelligence on these operating systems will have the option to offload requests to Apple's private cloud compute servers or other cloud-based processing services like ChatGPT. In Jamf Pro 11.12, administrators who would like to restrict external processing of Apple Intelligence requests can do so with new restrictions for computers and mobile devices. To restrict login on computers to an external processing service like ChatGPT, administrators can deselect Allow Users to Log In to External Intelligence Services and to restrict enrolled computers from contacting external processing services entirely, including ChatGPT and Apple's private cloud compute servers, administrators can deselect Allow Integration with External Intelligence Services. The same results can be achieved on mobile devices by enabling the restrictions for External Intelligence Login and External Intelligence Integration. Please note that restricting integration with external processing services using this setting will also restrict users logging in to these external services. Users and administrators alike may have noticed that with the release of macOS 15.1, computers were now displaying weekly prompts to confirm whether apps should continue to have access to screen sharing and audio privileges. While this confirmation message does allow users to consider their preferred level of privacy, these prompts may be more frequent than users or administrators would like. In Jamf Pro 11.12, administrators can bypass this recurring request by selecting the Bypass Screen Capture Alert restriction within the Functionality tab of the Restrictions payload. Please note, to protect user privacy, users will still need to grant permission the first time an app requests access to these features. On iPhones using iOS 18.1 and later, users can choose to record phone calls and FaceTime audio calls for later access. In Jamf Pro 11.12, administrators who wish to restrict this feature can do so from the Functionality tab of the Restrictions Configuration Profile payload. By selecting Restrict beneath Call Recording, enrolled iPhones with this configuration profile installed will not allow the recording of phone calls and FaceTime audio calls. Starting with iOS 14 and iPadOS 14, as well as all versions of VisionOS, users are able to configure their preferred default web browser. While Apple does not currently provide a way to set a preferred web browser via MDM, administrators using Jamf Pro 11.12 can now restrict the user's ability to change the default web browser on iOS 18.2, iPadOS 18.2, and VisionOS 2.2. To enable this restriction, select Restrict beneath Default Browser Modification in the Functionality tab of the Restrictions payload. With the restriction enabled, enrolled devices with this profile installed will not allow the user to modify the default web browser. That's it for our quick overview of the new restrictions introduced in Jamf Pro 11.12. From all of us here at Jamf, thank you for enjoying these release notes in 2024 and we hope to see you right here in the new year. In the meantime, be sure to visit the Jamf Pro release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub at learn.jamf.com for requirements and details about the features we've covered and to review all of the updates in this version. Thanks so much for watching.
and happy holidays.